Hi again, I'm your Oracle from Chaos Board, and how about we play Lost Planet 3 episode? Hmm, I don't know. I think it should be 16 or 17, I don't know. If you, uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's 16. If you just want, you know, just bash that dislike button. Tell me what a spoon I am down in the comment section and all that. But here we are now. I haven't played this game for a long time, so... Here we are. I really have no idea what happened. I don't remember anything about the game. I think that's, uh, you know... I remember this. And this. There we go. So, yeah. Ooh, nice. I really don't know what's the point of this. Hmm, that worked. Okay. I was trying to put Hank to sleep and I heard your message come in and now that I know you're okay, I'm feeling a little bit ridiculous right now. Glad you're back on the grid. Oops. Sorry, sorry. My bad. Oh, we missed it. I'm such a spoon. How could I possibly do that? Hello, Dr. Lady. James, Is thank she? heavens you made it in time. There's a storm heading this way within the hour, and I need you to plow right into the center of it. Of course you do. Do I want to know why? I need to attach sensors to your rig's winch, so time is of the essence. I'll explain while you're on your way to the top of Shack's Peak. Oh man, that water was so good. So... Alright then, get in your rig. I'll fill you in as we go. Okay, there we go. You should see coordinates on your hut based on where I expect the eye of the storm. Mm, yes, moving. I can see that. So what's the skinny, Doc, since when are we storm chasers? Since I heard every crewman at Corona buzzing about the big quest for pure tea energy. While that fool Kenny is playing mad... Yeah, run away. Secret, he's utterly failed to see the storm patterns for the clue they are. If Braddock had just bought me some more time with Nevik, I'd have been mm. able to prove there's low impurity tea energy within the storms, and lots of it. If storm is even the right word for them. The storms don't fit any natural weather pattern I've seen. They come and go so quickly, with none of the wind signature you'd expect of an Emperor-class atmospheric disturbance. It's as if they somehow have a trajectory. They do seem to come out of nowhere. No, James. Just the opposite. Oh, Doc, you may be blowing my mind a little here. A so what's interesting danger. is that it, it's giving us false controls. Guessing and start hoarding data. Those it doesn't work, you have to just, you know, turn the left hand lock to see what we're dealing with once and for all. With a little luck, we'll find some way to help Corona stay standing in the process. Alright. Not like it'll be the craziest thing I do today. Yeah, I can see that. So, for those of you who missed this series, I have to say... We... You know, we had some sort of issue. We had a problem going on, and that problem was that, you know, commenters, Heavy commenters from, successfully docked. from Wolfenstein, were really rude, they didn't, they just started advertising their thing. Let's see, we are recording, okay. Good, this time it didn't crash my entire PC. I can respect that. Hmm, 20 minutes from now on, okay.
What should I do? Attention. Heavy cargo tram is docked and ready. Ooh, so that's loud. Okay. We might need to change this thing. And shoot! So, we're going in... No, not him again! On second thought, no, this is a different creature, never mind! Can do this or not? What just happened? I generally don't know. Oh. So, that's about it. Oh my god. I have no idea what's going on. All I know is that we are under heavy attack. Really heavy. Run away! And he's back. Great. Oh, so this is how you do it. Come on, disconnect this thing. Or not. And we did it! Come on! We finally did it! Come on! Yes! We did it! Woohoo! Sorry to all those who probably listen with a, you know, a headphone because my microphone isn't too good. So, you might hear me, you know, a little bit with with a lot okay, of Doc, static and all I'm in that. Position. So like I'm right sorry on time. about that. Fire your winch at the tower and give it some time to collect the data. Your rig's going to act like a grounded relay for lightning. Don't yeah, worry. my eyes. You should be safe. What? Oh my! God. Do something. Oh! Come on! 
I just did that. Oh! Doc, we got company. Flyers. And they're swatting at the winch like a cat toy. That's no good, James. You've got to keep the fences safe until they finish. Oh. Can't do much from in here. Seems calm enough on the ground, though. Eye of the storm, right? Wish me luck. Good luck. That's oh. I know. Why are these guys so big? There's something strange about these acres. They're different from the others I've seen. A different hue. Brighter, maybe. Well, don't forget to use your DNA tagger on them. They could be part of this puzzle, too. Okay. Please. So DNA collected. Now it was just. We've got what we need in Get back in the ring and get out of there. With pleasure. Of course I will. You know, I'm not making this form isn't particularly brilliant. Yet again, you are given false controls. A doesn't walk. Smart. So the current plan is to finish this game or Wolfenstein, so we have room to play Sonic Mania when it came out, when it comes out. So you know, you have that to look forward to. So do I. I'm probably more hyped than you are about this. Heavy cargo tram is docked and ready. How did I get out of here again? Oh, found it. I'm probably more hyped. I'm probably hyped more than you are about Sonic Mania. 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 Eh, can't talk today. So, yeah. I pre ordered it as soon as I saw it. I don't know how I discovered it. I think I was just searching Steam Store for Sonic. So, yeah, I just finally. And then suddenly saw. It. Sonic Mania, and you know, it was there. It was just there, and I, I just couldn't remember seeing it before. And when I checked, clear, I pressed the button to just see it up close. I found out it's not even released yet, so you know, I just went out of my room screaming like a madman. And I said, Hey, I found this thing, this is a dream came true, and all of that stuff. So my father saw me, you know really happy so it just gave me another reason to be even more happy and gave me the money to pre-order that thing. So here we are. James, come look at the contaminant readings. They're practically non-existent. This may be the purest reading we've ever seen. The prize Coronas is looking for is in the very thing trying to knock them down a crevasse. You're telling hmm. me these storms are somehow powered by the purest tea energy on the planet? You sure that's good news? Good or bad remains to be seen, but if we find where the storms are coming from... Maybe we find the mother load of pure tea energy. And while Nevek uses it to solve the energy crisis on Earth, we get rich and get home. Sure. And also lay eyes on one of the rarest, most mysterious wonders of the universe. If you're into that sort of thing. Well, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take some time to fully pass all the data we just took in. I'll let you know what comes of it. Meanwhile, I hate to send you off empty-handed. Oh, thank you. I mean, it's a pleasure not to be empty-handed and all that. Gail here. I got that part repaired for you if you want to come pick it up now. It was a bitch. Hmm, I see. Let's get out of here, man. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, and you know, just repeat that thing in your mind, because if I continue saying that, I probably get a thousand dislikes more than what I asked for if this episode was wrong, the number of, number of episodes was wrong. So, you know, I just avoid that. Look at all this tea energy I have. We are rich! What?
we are taking damage, I don't know where, but we are taking it. Fast travel, that was a good idea. Jim Payton. I'm Nerissa Rock. And I'm Arthur Beagle. You're listening to GPR, Galactic Public Radio. Broadcasting Ooh. and podcasting around the solar system. Nice. Thanks to the generous support of Neo Venus Construction and listeners like you. On tonight's broadcast, a look back at the Kettleman Mining Colony 30 years after the depletion. Quarterly energy figures are out. Is the crisis worsening? And austerity riots continue to spread. What protesters are demanding now? All this and more on tonight's All in All. Hmm, I see. Did something, something just crashed on that tower? So we gotta... Dock our rig. Get out of here. And move. I'm glad that this elevator is... Functioning because it is, it is a pain. Just go up and down and forth and back and all that stuff. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Sup, lady? Please get out of my way. Come on. What was the problem with her? What was her problem? Here you go, dude. I don't understand. Thanks for helping me keep my ancient water purifier controller skills sharp. Hmm. Anytime. Hmm. Added repaired water purifier. Okay. I want to check Birdie out. Please get out of my way. Jesus. Okay, I try this. We go to the, you know, basement, I think, then we go to the under basement. That doesn't make sense. Hmm, that's a permanent. Uh, okay, I was reading that. <laughs> yes, she's not here. Birdie! You looking for something specific? We have every... Ooh. I see. <laughs> you can never carry enough grenades if you ask me. Well, I never use grenades, but see, okay. Now, that's how I know you're a connoisseur. Throws a straight line and blows up on contact. You're gonna like it. See you later, Jim. Thank you, bye. Hasta la vista and all that. Talking about hasta la vista, maybe I do a let's play on Beyond Good and Evil. Maybe after Wolfenstein, I don't know. I put up a voting down, not down, I put up a voting in Twitter, so you just can see it down there. AJ. Fast travel. Okay, fine. You go there. And he says without a trace of irony, Oh, you must be the weather girl. <laughs> uh -oh. So I'm staring daggers. He knows he stepped in it, but he's too daft to figure out why. Oh, sorry, weather woman? <laughs> Finally, I say, well, my doctor I don't is get in atmospheric it. sciences, so yeah, I'm the bleeding weather girl, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dry, pour me. Yeah. 
Okay, that was a totally random thing. This place looks insane! Yep, this place looks pretty creepy, insane, and rusted. Or rotten, I don't know. Rotten, that's more like it, rotten. Wait, isn't this the old thingy? You know, the last. Isn't this the last people? Camp of the Forgotten, probably yes. Armored Accrete are only vulnerable under red glowing areas. Okay. A red X, I was reading that. Thank you very much. Yep, this is them, alright. Hello, Forgotten Ones. Unless they are not as forgotten as, as Nameless King in Dark Souls 3. I haven't fought it yet, I just know of it. Jim, you're back. Yeah, well, I was in the neighborhood. Just thought I'd drop by this widget you asked for. The water purifier controller. You found a replacement? More of a refurbishment job. That'll do the trick. Thank you, Jim. I have something for you as well. And that is... Answers. Your man, Braddock. There is information on this drive concerning his father. I found it during my explorations of the old bases. Hmm. You might find it... enlightening? Do with it what you will. Okay. I'd be sure to do the right thing. What do you do now, LaRoche? What, no hug? <laughs> okay. The men know there's something wrong. It's like they can smell the dishonesty. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Uh, lying to people that trust you ain't supposed to come naturally. Here's hoping we're getting closer to the truth. Classified infestation in progress. The are going crazy. We're not equipped to deal with this level of aggression. Please, are you out there? There's been no word from you command. The love of God. Is anyone out there listening? Sarah. Sarah, get the boy. What's happening out there? You have to go now. Leave everything else. Just grab the boy and come with me. It's going to be okay. I wasn't good. Warn you? Never said. Sir, I, if we hold out a little longer, I never knew. General, the evacuation plan. You listen to me. I'm getting my son out of here, and I'm we going don't blast now. off now. Then no nobody will survive. Oh. The ship. The ship is leaving. Need They're the leaving us behind. What are we supposed to do now? You left them there. He abandoned the whole colony. Save me. All those people. I'm sure he did what he thought he had to to save his family. He had a duty, Jim, to those people. Dead, every one of them. No chance. No hope. And that's where you're wrong. No survivors. No. No, listen. I have to tell you something. There were. Sir, sorry to interrupt, but we have an emergency. Oh, great. Sir, it's urgent. Please respond. I'll take care of it, boss. Jim, come in. The yep. king crab acrid that has been terrorizing the area for months has been spotted in the North Plains. He is public enemy number one. Is that clear? Exterminate on site. I am authorized to credit you maximum bounty for this kill. Roger that. I'll put my hunting cap on. Jim, any reason Mr. Braddock isn't responding to my calls? Is everything all right? He's fine, Jay. Just dealing with some bad news. Give him some breathing room. Okay, okay, that was something. So, we're out of time. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Lost Planet 3. If you liked it, please like. If you really liked it, please subscribe and let me know down in the comment section what you think about this series and all that good stuff. So yeah, for the next time, for the next video, till then, take care.